Nine left. How many got it right? These were correct. Uh, only one again. Carl Schuka in 8.62 seconds. Carl! Final question. So our third contestant tonight, Carl Schuker, a freelance zoological consultant from West Bromwich in the West Midlands. Up in the audience is Mum Mary. Carl's got loads and loads of books at home, which he uses mainly in his work as a writer. He says if he does really well tonight, he wants to buy a bigger house with a library. Carl has had nine books published, including one which investigated mythical creatures. Uh, he thinks there might well be a yeti, though he's not at all sure about the Loch Ness Monster. Uh, if he does cite a big check tonight, Carl would also like to buy himself a Harley Davidson motorbike, as he's had a keen interest in high performance machines ever since he was a little boy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassing or what, Carl? <laughs> That's Carl aged about uh, two and a half. He's hardly changed at all. <laughs> uh, he also wants to visit the seven wildlife wonders of the world. Why do you think there's a Yeti, of an abominable snowman? Um. There have been a lot of good reports over the years, but this year um, some hair samples were brought back from um, the Himalayas, which were sent to Oxford, the, the world's greatest uh, hair analysis uh, department, and they couldn't identify them. And it's the first time, I believe, they've ever had any hair that so they couldn't identify with a known species. So that's good evidence that there might be something unknown in the Himalayas. What about the Loch Ness Monster, then? Um, that's, the, that's the kind of bet noir in every sense of the word. But, I mean, it could be just a wave formation, an unusual wave formation, or an atmospheric refraction phenomenon, but I think there is a mystery needing uh, a solution. OK, well, lots of luck. Fifteen questions, three new lifelines, one million pounds. Sounds very simple when you say it like that. OK, lots of luck, Carl. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? OK, question number one for 100 pounds. This is it. In which room are school children most likely to have their lessons? Bathroom. Changing room. Classroom. Living room. Um, that'd be classroom, I guess. 100 pounds, well played. <laughs> okay, got 100 pounds. Have a look at question number two for 200 quid. There is. Which of these is the title of a hit Broadway musical comedy? Bruce's and Sheila's, Blokes and Birds, Guys and Dolls, Fellas and Lasses. Mm, last one sounds if it's come from Scotland, but I think I'll go with guys and dogs. That's right, Alex, you've got £200. <laughs> a groom is a person employed to look after which animals? Horses, ducks, snakes, fish. Horses, please. You know that one, wouldn't you? It's uh, the right answer, you've got £200. Right, Carl, you got 300 quid. Uh, question number four is for 500 pounds. Here it comes. Which of these words describes someone with a very pale face? Ashen, oaken, beechen, pinen. Um, I will be ashen. It's the right answer. You got 500 pounds. <laughs> right, last point you could go home with nothing, but this will guarantee you 1,000 pounds. Here it is. Question number five. Which document would be endorsed with a visa? Tax return, television licence, passport, birth certificate. Uh, well, I've had mine endorsed with a visa a couple of times, so it would be a passport. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. We'll take it. Yeah. So, Carl, good news. That's about yeah, guaranteed. Great. That's good. Right, question number six then. Serious business, ten between you and a million. All three lifelines intact. This is number six of a possible 15. Which comedian did Pamela Stevenson marry in 1989? Mel Smith, Rowan Atkinson, Rory Bremner, Billy Connolly. I think she'd written a book about him lately. Uh, it was Billy Connolly. Final answer? Yep, final answer. It's the right answer. She has just written a book. <laughs> You got two thousand pounds. Okay, number seven for four thousand. Still no need for any lifeline. Have a look at this. 
The word noggin is an informal term for which part of the human body? Foot, knee, stomach, head. 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 Head, yes. Final answer? Yep, final answer. As in, use your noggin, yes. use your head, it's the right answer. You've got 4,000. <laughs> believe you're here? Not really, no. I think I'm going to wake up in a moment. I'm just making the most of it, really. <laughs> the alarm thing. clock's going to go off any moment. <laughs> it always does. A lot of people feel that. A lot of people <laughs> sit there thinking, I'm in a trance, this is not real. I've dreamt this a lot of times. Whatever. Yeah. This is real, trust me. Right. I'll pinch you if you like. Okay. Um, you've got £4,000. Right. This would be for £8,000. You've got all three lifelines. You haven't touched them yet. Have a look. It's question number eight. Which of these was president of the Soviet Union in the 1980s? Lenin. <laughs> Khrushchev, Andropov, Putin. Andropov. Not Khrushchev. No, 60s, I think. Final answer. Yep, final answer. You just won £8,000. Question number nine is for 16,000. You would lose 7,000 pounds here if you gave me a wrong answer. But you still have 50-50, phone a friend and ask this audience. Have a look at number nine for 16,000. What type of creature is a silkworm? Now, you might know this. What type of creature is a silkworm? How embarrassing to get it wrong, though. Yeah, yeah. A, a maggot. B, a centipede. C, a spider. D, a caterpillar. Been checking this. Caterpillar, Chris. Are you sure? You're a zoological <laughs> I know, consultant. This, this is a little, I'm just checking. Yeah, it's a caterpillar. Final answer. Yeah. It's the right answer. You've got 16,000 pounds, and you have not yet used any lifeline. <laughs> it's a caterpillar of a silk moth, I think. Well, you yeah. should know. I don't know why I'm telling you. You should know you do this for a living. Right, you got 16,000 pounds. Have a look at number 10 for 32,000. Just be aware, this is a big old drop here. If you did go for this and give me a wrong answer, you lose 15,000. But you have three lifelines. You could use all three and still walk away taking 16,000 pounds. Have a look at number 10, it's worth 32,000. Which town in New Mexico was allegedly the site of a UFO crash landing in 1947? Roswell, Boswell, Coswell, Doswell. Roswell. Because the, the incident was called the Roswell incident. Final answer. Final answer. You just won £32,000. You have not used any lifeline. Boom! Not a dream. No. Believe. No. Believe. Well, I'll touch it first, and I'll tell you. Touch it. Truth. Take it. That's not a dream. That's a real check. I'll take it. Take it. It's yours. You want it? <laughs> well, I take it, please. <laughs> Put it in your pocket. Okay. Do Thank what you, you want. Whatever happens, Carl, you go home with that check for thirty-two thousand pounds. Right, now listen, you're five away from a million, you've got all three lifelines, you've not yet touched a single lifeline, you've got a 50-50, you can phone a friend, and you can ask this audience. Question number 11, you might as well play this one. Question number 11 is for £64,000. Have a look, here it is. Which of these is a book which specifically examines the lives of saints? Hagiography, topography, Polygraphy. Stenography. Hagiography. Have you got one? No. In your vast collection of books? <laughs> no, probably not. Why are you sure it's hagiography? Well, topography is to do with landscape. Polygraphy is to do with lie detecting. And stenography is something to do with writing or stenciling, something like that. So it's got to be, be hagiography. Yep, final answer. Yep, it's the right answer. You've got 64,000 pounds. Come on, give us that back. Come on. Come on, Mr. Shooter. Let's have battered, a check back, please. Battered, You've got that no matter what. No matter what, you go home tonight. I'm not messing this. Really I know, I know. I won't put the next one in my pocket. I just hold it. Do whatever you want. <laughs> um, there might be some more. 
Right, you've got £32,000 guarantee, but at this moment you can have that check for £64,000. Take it. OK. Next question, question number 12, is for £125,000. If you give me a wrong answer, you drop £32,000. Have a look at it. It's question number 12 of a possible 15. You have all three lifelines untouched. Which of these singers appeared on a British postage stamp in June 1999? Elton John, Freddie Mercury, Cliff Richard, John Lennon. You can. First lifeline you've needed at uh, £125,000. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Carl the right answer and one remaining wrong answer. Oh, I was hoping one of those would go. Those are the two I was torn between. <sighs> First lifeline you've needed. You've got £64,000, Carl. You can walk away, but you might as well use both lifelines. You can still walk away having done that. Which of these singers appeared on a British postage stamp in June 1999? Freddie Mercury or John Lennon? One of those is worth £125,000. Lifeline, it's up to you. No, I'll go Freddie Mercury. Final answer. Why did you not go to Lennon? Because I have seen a stamp with Freddie Mercury on, and it's about that period, but I, ha I can't recollect John Lennon at all ever being on a postage stamp. I know that you have to be dead, basically, to be on a postage stamp in Great Britain, you, other than the royal family. Um, and the other two were alive, so... Carl, I stop wittering. You just won. £125,000! <laughs> this is question number 13 of a possible 15. Which of these Channel Islands is the farthest south? Guernsey. Sark. Jersey. Alderney. to most of these. I'm trying to picture in my mind the, the orientation of them in relation okay, to each time. other. It's worth a quarter of a million. Jersey. No lifelines. You don't want to use one. There's nothing on my screen here at all to give me a final answer. I know it's not Alderney. I'm not worried about Alderney. And I'm pretty sure it's not Guernsey. I'm sure Guernsey is north of Jersey, but Sark. Let's ask the audience. They'll be pleased. OK, everybody, no pressure. It's worth a quarter of a million. <laughs> right, audience, on your keypads, please. Let's see what happens. Uh, he's still got one more lifeline as well. Carl needs to know this. Which of these Channel Islands is the farthest south? A, B, C or D? It's worth £250,000, a quarter of a million. All vote now. Four percent say Guernsey, 
26% say Sark, 68% Jersey, 2% uh, Alderney. That's worth a quarter of a million, but it's your call. I'll go for Jersey. The play? Yep. Final answer? Yes, final answer. You've just won a quarter of a million! <laughs> Carl, have a look at this. This is the situation at the moment. You've got this check. You can touch it, you can do what you like with it. <laughs> Pay Carl Sugar £250,000. You want to take it? If I can, yeah. Do what you like, it's yours. <laughs> You've still got one lifeline left. The next question is for £500,000. You obviously don't have to play it. You can use your lifeline, phone a friend, and still, if you're not entirely happy with their answer, you can walk away with £250,000. If you give me a wrong answer, you would lose £218,000, which is a sobering thought. Yeah. If you do go for it, and you give me the right answer, you win a half a million. You're two away from £1 million. Let's have a look. This is question 14 of a possible 15. It's worth £500,000. Which of these was not a regular character in the TV series Upstairs, Downstairs? Ruby, Violet, Daisy, Hazel. I know Ruby was, and I'm pretty sure Daisy was. There's a faint bell in the back of my mind for Hazel. Violet doesn't ring a bell at all. Ruby does, Daisy does, Hazel at a push, but not Violet. <sighs> you got a phone a friend in time. Thought you would. Okay, who are you going to find? Glyn. Glyn. Glyn, okay. Now, this is quite critical. Do you want me to tell him no. how much no. money is involved? <laughs> no, not at all. I think it might He's um... a sound man, but this might face him a little, so. Yeah. yeah. What's called Glyn? Glyn. Where's he in the middle? Yep. Where's Glyn? Hello? Glyn? Yeah. Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Oh, hello. How are you? Uh, I've got Carl Schuker here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. He's doing fine, he's doing well. Yeah, but he, yeah, but he's stuck on one particular question. Glenn, he needs your help. Okay. Okay. Now the next voice you hear will be Carl. So he'll tell you the question. There are four possible answers. One of those is the right answer. That's the one we need. All right, mate. Okay. Okay, Glenn. Thirty seconds, Carl. Lots of luck. Your time starts now. Hi, Glenn. Which of Hi, these Carl. was not? Which of these was not a regular character in the TV series Upstairs Downstairs? Ruby, Violet, Daisy, Hazel. Not a regular character. Not a yeah. character. Ruby, Violet, Daisy, Hazel. 15 seconds. As a guess, I'd say Hazel, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm ho ho hovering between Violet and Hazel. Four seconds, three seconds, but you're not I'd sure. I'd say Hazel. Hmm. Glyn is very good on TV. Very good on TV and film. But he's not sure. I'm going to take the money. I'm not risking that. I wouldn't blame you if you did. I'm not risking that. Final answer, I'm taking the money. Oh, let's discuss it a while. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sure, sure? Positive. I have to say, if you were wrong, you would lose £218,000. Exactly. No, I'll take the money. You see, he's very good on his TV. Yeah, but he said he wasn't sure. He just said, yeah, I'm, I'm confident I would have gone with him, no question, but he said he wasn't sure. So I'm not going. I'm not going to take a risk. So you see, you'll never get to see the million pound question, will you? No, but I will get to see this check in one <laughs> Give a big hand. Carl Zucker goes away with two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Yes, before you go, because you will. You will want to know this. No, I won't really. But you will. You will. Tell you, me. Will. <laughs> you will. I do actually as well. Yeah. Um, 
He was sort of he verging was towards Hazel, Hazel wasn't he? and I was more towards Violet, but neither of us were very sure. So. Uh, if you said Ruby and if you said Daisy, you would have lost £218,000. If you'd gone with Glyn and said Hazel, you'd have lost £218,000. If you'd said Violet, yeah, but, but it's it never been that serious it, amount of money. No, before. and it wasn't strong at all. It would have been little more than a guess between yeah. those two. So. Violet was the right answer. But hey, he goes away a quarter of a million better off. Fantastic. <laughs> well done. Thank Enjoy you. the Harley and I hope your mummy draws a few times. Oh, she will. We'll play. Cheers, mate. Fantastic. You thought and I thought he just might have got to the million. Uh, Carl Schuker there, an amazing contestant, goes away with a cheque for an amazing amount of money, a quarter of a million. Right, we've got ten.